Now, we done called for you once before, but I'm going to need somebody to go back around there and get Shirley up here because we got some more questions. Let's juice. Come on, Blazer. It's a beat for me. What's up? It's your girl Voodoo Doll TV back with a quick little joke. And this one gonna be really quickly, but this is what I wanna know. Can somebody go get Shirley and tell her bring her strawberry letter with her pen and pad? Because we got questions and she needs to write these down so she can answer them. Girl, let me tell you something. Now, I had been laying low trying to wait, you know, wait and make sure some good stuff came out. I ain't want to just jump out there and, you know, like I'm, you know, jumping in a double dutch or whatever. And then it come to find out more news and more updates have come on her husband charges. Now, I don't know if y'all remember um when I first broke the news, um they were in court and I played the Zoom hearing. And one of the attorneys for the prosecution said that she didn't want to have him get a bail, not only because Shirley and Steve allegedly were trying to swoop him up out of the uh, states but also she said she has pending charges that she didn't want to get into because it was gonna be good y'all take a listen to this and i'll come right back to be a flight risk we have jail calls a call where he was talking with his wife about going to stay in her boss's house i'm gonna leave out all the names um there are several pending warrants that will be coming out that based on their Content alone, um, there's a great likelihood that he could, that he's, you know, he's someone who commit further felonies. Furthermore, without mentioning the facts of the case in front of us, um, children were involved. There's five other felonies on there that have to do with the uh, nudity, let's say. No bond as of January the 13th, 2023. The bonds, I believe that you signed, Judge, you tell him he can't be with his wife. Uh, I'm going to ask that you... Uh, Is that Melody Scratching? No, it's uh, Ms. the other lady, the SS lady. Oh, Strawberry. Yeah, yeah. So You have to turn over your passport to Mr. Lewis. No further contact with anyone under the age of 18. No social, no social media, no internet access. Miss, uh, surrender your passport, like I said, and you cannot leave Fulton County. Internet I, access I, and... Uh, wait, or animals. Animals. I've got animals. No contact with any animals of any kind. Okay. So now, girl, this had everybody in the uproar because we like, um, well, not me because I don't listen to it, but the girls was like, well, we be listening to the Strawberry Letter up every day and Shirley ain't saying nothing about her letter and that's where we at. So now, look, the lawyer, I know y'all heard the attorney say that they have more evidence of uh, other crimes that they will be charging Mr. Ernesto Williams with. And that's why they wanted to revoke him a bind. They ain't want him to be able to, you know, kite out. Because they said allegedly, Steve and them, allegedly. That's what they said. That ain't what I said. But they say uh, Steve and them allegedly was going to get him to go to one of his little condos, you know, out of town or whatever, out of the states. But, you know, one thing about the good law and the good Lord, he never sleeps and she never rests. Oh, Okay, so, um, turns out, and you know, turns out that the charges have been updated and I was shocked and appalled, especially at that last piece when the lady said he couldn't be around children or animals. And I said, what? I said, I know you lying to me. What you mean he can't be around animals? Not even if she had a pet bird? Oh my God. I said, Lord, somebody come down here and help me, thank me. I'm off the flu, girl. Somebody get me up off the flu. But anyway, nevertheless, they did a news conference. I want y'all to hear this news conference and I'm gonna come right back. They position themselves as experts in the fields of business growth, development, coaching, things of that nature. They would then align themselves with their victims with the promise of being able to grow their life goals, their missions, their brands, their social media followings, even to help them to cut the kind of high-end vehicles they wanted to drive. So as of yet, Shirley is not included on the charges. But remember I told y'all I pay attention to everything and Charleston Whitehead called Ernesto and his side chick allegedly aka his side piece or whatever she was to him didn't I tell y'all he called her out I was the one who broke it because I was the only one who remember girl he said that Shirley with the strawberry letter them took his money let's listen to it detective from from, from Roswell Police Department mm -hmm. uh yeah, man, I done been hit $4 million in, in the business world. I heard you say that. Yeah, uh, in, in, in a very prominent person. Uh, I, I won't say the name on air, 
uh, but a very prominent person, uh, her husband, uh, uh, is involved in it. Mm. Uh, and he in jail right now for it. Hey. Uh, y'all hear this person on the air every morning on, on the radio station mm. all over America. Surely with strawberry left. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah, man, her mother, her mother, her mother, her mother and this woman, man, uh, yeah, man, they got, man, they, man, they got, man, they got my, I, man, they got my ID, uh, man, they done forged my name. Really? Man, tapped into my, uh, one of my bank accounts, my Pinnacle bank account, uh, man, they done open non-profits, they done, they done, uh, sent in false, false judgments to YouTube and Google. Uh. Man, to take off. So I've been wondering, man, where all my money going, man? My man, yeah, they've been robbing out of me. Really? Yeah. Uh, yeah, they got me. Uh, some NFL draft players. Uh, some well-known comedians out of Atlanta. Uh, they finessing like that? Yeah, man. They, man, yeah, homie. They, uh, yeah, I just left Roswell Police Department yesterday. Meet, meet with them and seeing everything that they got, that they, they had. And I didn't know anything about this until, until law enforcement contacted me. Hey. Uh, yeah, they had my marriage certificate, homie. Everything. I'm talking about everything, man. What? Yeah. What do you mean? Homie, they had down the man. They had acquired my marriage certificate. Uh. They had opened non-profits in my name and made me the board of directors of the non-profits in the businesses and then was suing me as the business. So I'm the business and they suing me. No, oh, man, they, man, they eat my ass alive and I don't know nothing. They've they been taking money out of a bank account. I didn't even know they were, man, I don't know how they got into it. That's but crazy. They were so cold with it, man. They was, they was creating false judgments as if the, the courts was putting a judgment against my YouTube channel, my Google AdSense account. Uh, man, it, it, it's some shit. So I'm saying, man, these some cutthroat motherfuckers. Jesus Christ, bro. Man, this, man, this business world, homie. So as you can see, it's crazy because Charleston White has been on this tour talking about Shirley and her husband for at least seven to eight months. That That's only the second interview he's done where he was talking about how Ernesto and, and the lady Erica allegedly scammed him over a million dollars, creating doggone nonprofit organizations and stuff. Like, it is insane. Even Charleston was blown away. So we already knew this was going on. At least I did, but now I'm giving y'all the tea. So look, boom. After the first bond hearing and the lady said she didn't want him to get a bond, she said because more charges will be filed. Apparently, they said, I didn't say this, but they said the, the charges have been dropped, the new charges, and you are not going to want to believe this when you see this, girl. You got to see this. Hold on. Now, let these sizzle in your spirit for a little second. You have aggravated SBR, aggravated S, S battery, misdemeanor, and then trafficking a person from S services or whatever that say, listen, y'all, can y'all believe this right now? Like, what in the world? What is going on? Like, Shirley, and they said that Shirley was trying to get him bond and get him out. And she wrote a letter or sent the word through her attorneys for good faith. They on this doggone radio show every morning. Nobody ain't saying nothing. Everybody's just moving along the world like nothing happened when, like Charleston White said, it's not just him, it's other prominent people in Atlanta, athletes and everything. Even the up and coming athletes child ain't even had a chance to, to build their credit yet. And apparently, allegedly, they said, not me, they said that that's what was going on. And I am like appalled. I cannot believe this. I mean, I can't because I don't put nothing past nobody, but geez Louise. And guess who hooked them up? The same one trying to give Kiki Dog on advice. Mm-hmm. Now, I ain't gonna lie. He was giving Kiki some good advice. But given his track record, we just don't want to hear it. Y'all, y'all got... This is crazy. What do y'all think about this? Like, oh, I had other tea before I get out of here. So, allegedly, they said... That ain't what I said. That's what they said. It's all alleged. But they said that she was trying to fight to get him home back to her. And um, they said, allegedly, that the charges are against her daughter and her grandchildren like one or two or some i don't know but allegedly they said the daughter and the grandchildren have something to do with it and they said not me they said shirley said that the people was lying that them children was lying 
y'all, you can't make this stuff up. And you know what is crazy? Shirley is at that age group of women. It ain't just an age group. Let me take that back. But Shirley is at that group of women. She is in the group of women who typically take their man's side before they take their children. Y'all, what y'all think about this? Shirley... Get up here with your letter. We need to see what the hell going on. Because, you look, I don't listen to Steve Harvey. But I've told y'all, all the ones who do Steve Harvey in the morning show, call down there to the Steve Harvey morning show. Call, and when she asks the questions about the strawberry letter or they ask something about something to eat, you can act like you want to request a song. Call down there and ask Shirley with the strawberry letter. What the hell going on with her and her husband? And is she not believing her children? Y'all act like y'all scared. Girl, if I'm up early enough, girl, and I catch it, I don't even know what channel they come on no more i do it because we need answers they're not gonna say nothing they just gonna act like it's all cool girl this is too much this is team too much y'all drop down in the comments and let me know what y'all think about shirley with the strawberry letter and her husband's new charges girl he ain't coming home no time soon as he shouldn't him and his fake old lady you hear me but anyway, jump down there in the comments and let me know what y'all think. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow me on TikTok, and I will see you hoes later. Bye. Mr. Carroll. How you give the voodoo doll time to talk? I don't get no fucking time to talk. Who the voodoo doll is? The nigga you just had up here.